So you're thinking of moving to or near Mount Laurel, New Jersey. In this video, I'm gonna show you around Mount Laurel, including some of the things you can do in the area, where you can eat, some of the neighborhoods, price ranges, and more. At the end of the video, we're gonna show you the best ways to get around South Jersey from Mount Laurel. You're not gonna to wanna to miss that, so make sure you stick around to the end. All right, let's go. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in South Jersey, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know everything about the current market in South Jersey. My name is Matt Curcio with Curcio Partners at Real Broker. We get calls and messages every day from people just like you looking for help on their move in the South Jersey area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in five days or five months, give us a call, send us a text, or send us an email. All of our information is in the description below. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be discussing everything Mount Laurel today. So let's jump into my computer and get started. All right, so as you can see here on the map, this is Mount Laurel. I'm gonna zoom out, show you where it is in New Jersey. All right, so New Jersey, top of New Jersey, New York's up here. So uh, Delaware's down here, Baltimore, uh, DC, and then you can go down Virginia, um, Carolinas and more. So in general, a couple key things about this. All right, so how it got its name, it's actually named after a hill that was covered in laurel trees. So uh, square miles, how big is it? It's actually over 21 square miles. Population is over 44,000 people. All right, and let's jump in and see about what's going on. So let's, this is the overhead map view. Again, Philadelphia is over here. All right, first things first, parks. So you've got a bunch of different parks here. Um, laurel Acres. Uh, very big park. Awesome. My kids have played baseball there. I played baseball there over the years and lots of lots more activities. The park is enormous. So lots to do there. Then you got other parks, Mill Run, the Memorial Park, Mount Laurel State Park and more. All right. Around the area. So lots of stuff to do there. Country clubs. So what's pretty cool is you guys in Mount Laurel, if you move there, you got Top Golf right in there. So Top Golf is right here off 295 down there. Then what else you got? You have Laurel Creek Country Club over here. And then that, I mean, that's it. You also have Rancocas Valley uh, next door, some other golf clubs nearby. These are just golf places to get stuff. But Top Golf is the best practice facility uh, and games and all that bring the whole family have events there and more and then country club wise you got laurel creek all right so now we're going to talk about the farmers markets so you got a few to pick from as you can see over here different locations cheyenne's road uh, market is probably one of the bigger ones here and then you have what do you got the shops at rancocas woods so that is all here all right, so next we're gonna jump into shopping here in Mount Laurel. So 20 plus square miles, you're gonna have tons of shopping to do. So lots of different plazas and everything all over Mount Laurel. And you've got a couple malls nearby. We'll show you where they're located in a minute here. But overall, you're gonna have lots of shopping. Restaurants we're gonna get into as well in a second. But let's go to the mall. So from Mount Laurel to Moorestown Mall, you are going to be 10 minutes, all right? And then if you wanted to go to the Cherry Hill Mall, about 17 minutes right now. So as you can see, two big malls, so definitely plenty of shopping, um, lots of stuff around them as well. So let's talk about restaurants. You got lots and lots of choices all around um, Mount Laurel. There's lots of stuff on 73 um, and all the major roads that come through, 73, 38, um, just lots. I'm not even going to name them because there's so many you can pick from. There's uh, also all the hotels that are up off 73. So lots to pick from. Take a look here on the left hand side. All right. Now schools. Schools are, according to niche.com, the elementary schools are, they give a rating of B. Lenape High School is an A rating. So that is the schools. Let's talk about real estate. So real estate. This is Mount Laurel, right? So gonna have pricing styles all over the place. 
uh, lots of neighborhoods as well. Condos, townhomes, uh, everything, as you can see here, different pricing starting in the 100s for condos, 200s, townhomes. And then once you get into the single families, you're probably looking three to 400 to start somewhere around there. Yeah, as you can see here, 399. These are townhomes. Yeah, so probably looking in the fours and above to get into single family housing. And then there's homes in the millions. So depending on what you're looking for, there is plenty to choose from when it comes to style of home. Let's talk about getting around in from Mount Laurel. All right. So first things first, one of the popular things to do is go south, right? Whether it's Delaware, down to the Carolinas and more. Um, so from Mount Laurel to get to the uh, Delaware Memorial Bridge, it's going to take you about 40 minutes. All right. And if you're going to get on a plane and go somewhere, you're going to go to the airport in Philadelphia. So in the Philly airport from Mount Laurel, you're going to be there in about 31 minutes. Another good spot is New York. Okay. So New York uh, right now is showing an hour and 40 minutes. That's to get to the bridge. GW, I mean, you can be in New York, but if you got to go further into the city, you know, traffic over there will take over. But in general, you're going to be about uh, an hour and 40 minutes from Mount Laurel just to get to New York. Uh, another popular area for us is beaches right so from mount laurel so there's two sets of beaches and i'll show you here on the map you have all of these beaches asbury point pleasant seaside uh even lbi and beach haven right then you have even more south okay so you got atlantic city brigantine ocean city sea isle stone harbor wildwood cape may all right, so we'll just jump in and say, let's say we're going to Point Pleasant. So Point Pleasant is gonna be about an hour, all right? And then if you're gonna go to, wanna go gamble, Atlantic City, or an hour and 11 minutes. And then if you're gonna go down to the wild woods or anything else, add another 15, 20 minutes, depending on the beaches. Same thing here, the more, you know, north south you go it's going to change the ride but about an hour is a good guess to get to a beach for the summertime or the wintertime nice peaceful retreat um or atlantic city if you're going to go gamble um and that is about everything mount laurel that we're going to show you on the map video we're going to shoot another video and show you some of the neighborhoods in mount laurel and what they have to offer different price ranges later on so if you're looking to make a move in the south jersey market and want our help we're glad to help you all our information is below if you want more updates about south jersey tap the bell for notifications we'll be in touch soon see ya